Hey guys, it's MJ, the student at Tree, and in this video, I want to explore why are interest rates going negative. But before we do that, let's consider what interest rates are with a simple thought experiment. If I said to you, would you like a thousand dollars today or a thousand dollars next year? Which one would you choose? Most people would prefer to have a thousand dollars today. So how much must I offer you the following year in order for these two amounts to be equal? I mean, if I offered you $2,000 the following year, would you still prefer to take $1,000 today? And this is quite an interesting question, but it can be broken down or simplified into the magic formula that underlies a lot of actuarial science. And that is today's amount times interest rate is equal to next year's amount. But what determines that interest rate? Is it supply and demand? Well, not really, because the question we should be asking ourselves is not what determines interest rates, but rather who determines interest rates. And I'll give you a clue, it's not the Illuminati. No, it's not them. In order to find out this uh, answer, we need to ask ourselves, well, who's printing money and who's in control of money? And the answer is the central banks. Central banks or reserve banks of countries are normally in control of the monetary supply. They set the interest rates and they do various other things and they look after the economy. Now they're supposed to be separate from the government, but I mean we just have to look at some cartoons and think to yourself, Governments kind of set up these uh, financial uh, institutions. So is there as much independence? And so we have to ask ourselves, is maybe the government setting the interest rates? And remember, banks are not the, the, the most honest or moral institutions um, in history. I mean, there have been quite a lot of scandals. Uh, quite a recent one has been with this whole uh, LIBOR um, scandal. And that was with an interest rate. And so you can see, I really like that cartoon uh, where it says, I'm not robbing the bank, madam. I work here. And it's because of all this greed and this uh, scandalous behavior that a lot of people think it is the Illuminati that control interest rates and control the world economy. Um, and it's, it's because of these reasons that also people are looking to alternatives. You know, is there maybe a decentralized currency that we can all take up? But anyway, I'm getting a little bit um, off the topic, so let's go back to interest rates. And some fun facts about interest rates. I mean, in America, in the past, well, from 1954 to 2008, interest rates have been as low as 0.25% all the way up to 19%. In the UK, uh, from 1989 to 2009, it's been anything from a half a percent to 15 percent. Now, the range can broaden quite widely, especially if we look at Germany. I mean, from 1920 to 2000, they went, they had interest rates between 2 percent and 90 percent. And this actually gave Hitler the economic conditions for him to, to get his party into power. Also, talking about how politics um, and interest rates are influenced. One just has to look to Zimbabwe, where their president has totally stuffed up the country. And I mean, in 2007, there was interest rates of 800%. I don't even think they, they, their money's worth anything today. That's how ridiculous it became. But coming back to interest rates, sorry, I'm getting uh, sidetracked here, is that interest rates are, are supposed to be positive because you're supposed to get interest rates as a reward. I will give you money today, and tomorrow you'll give me money back with a little bit extra for rewarding me for taking the risk um, that you might not pay me back. You know, you might default for the opportunity cost. I could have used that money elsewhere. Um, I've lost liquidity that could have helped me in certain uh, cash flow situations. So people are used to getting rewarded for lending money. So I'll give you money if you give me more money back. And it should never go below 0% because if it goes below 0%, well then instead of me giving you money, I'm just going to hide it in my bank. You know, if the bank's got a negative interest rate, 
why don't I just keep my money under my mattress? So why is this happening? Why is interest rates dipping below zero? If you do a bit of research or if you listen to government, uh, their reason is to help the economy. Um, they'll say negative interest rates stimulate the economy, they get all that type of growth. And, and that might very well be the case. But one thing to consider is that governments are one of the big, biggest borrowers in the world. So governments like to, to issue bonds. And with negative interest rates, it means they will be making money by borrowing money. Just, just let that sink in. So governments are going to borrow money from the people and then they have to pay them back less money. They, they make, so they make more money by borrowing money. Now, if you think that's a little bit cray-cray, you, you, you're thinking along the same lines as me. So the next question comes is, well, why are investors buying this? You know, why, how on earth can this happen? If, if the interest rates are negative, then why are uh, institutions and investors still buying these type of bonds? Well, to understand that, we need to look at who are the biggest investors. And they, sadly, it's not you or me. Um, biggest investors are your financial institutions or pension funds, um, asset wealth managers, hedge funds, all those type of guys. But, but let's look at pension funds. Pension funds, according to The Economist magazine um, in 2008, have 20 trillion US dollars under management. Those are all the pension funds in the world. 20 trillion dollars. That's a lot of money. Now, why are they investing all this money, or they've got all this money, why aren't they investing it into these government bonds? Is it because other assets are too risky? I mean, they could invest in the stock market, in property, um, but they might argue, no, it's a little bit overvalued or it's too risky. We might lose our money. You know, there could be a stock market crash. So, you know, bonds are safe. But if you look at regulations, um, this is something that you'll come across in subject CA1 uh, in actuarial science, is you'll see regulation puts a lot of restrictions on what these massive institutions can do with their money, how they can invest them. And some of the restrictions are they can't buy a certain type of assets, so pension funds can't go and buy classic cars. Um, currency, normally it has to be in the local currency, which the government bonds are then issued in. If they are going overseas, only certain custodians. I mean, there's lots of solvency, mismatching, liquidity, exposure to certain assets. But look at that one over there in the bottom left-hand corner. Regulation says that these big pension funds have to give a certain proportion to bonds. So why are these big institutions buying bonds? Well, in a weird way, it's because they have to, because the government told them to. And that's a little bit unsettling when it comes to finance, and it's almost a, a flaw of regulation. I mean, Japan now has just issued billions worth of these bonds with negative rates, which means they are making money by borrowing money. And I know that is that is crazy. And that's why I want to welcome you guys to, to participate in this discussion. So I want to hear what your opinion is. I mean, negative interest rates, are they good? Are they bad? And there's, there's no right answer. I mean, we don't know if they're good. We don't know if they're bad. So feel free to, to comment in the, the comment section below. Um, give a little reason why you think negative interest rates are good, if you think it's going to stimulate the economy, or bad because it's going to destroy the economy. Let me know, and let's have a little bit of discussion around this. But overall, I just want to say thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for another video where we discuss finance and how crazy it can sometimes get. Thanks, guys. Cheers.